obviously you were the winner. You won Love Island. Of Love Island. <laughs> how was it? Like, how was the whole experience for you? Oh, shit. And was a bit... It was amazing. Honestly, experience of a lifetime. Yeah. And I wouldn't change anything for the world. Good. Like, it was... I don't know. I've never really had... I know we were just joking about me being on TV, but I've never had the thing where I've wanted to be on TV. Mm. I split up with my ex and I was single for about a year and a half and my friend sent it to me and was like, it was a Facebook ad. She was like, Millie, please uh, like, apply for this. It'd be fucking jokes. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh come in there. God. Like, what, why not? What have I got to lose? And I was like, no, oh, and they need a 60 second video. What should I do? And I was like, why don't you just send them like loads of videos of you like really drunk doing stupid shit? And I was like, yeah, all right then, let's do that. Really? So literally did like a compi, what is it, like a compilation? Yeah, a compilation. Yeah. Of like me doing like I'm not gonna tell you what I said. <laughs> <laughs> me doing oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what you what what? So you sent you sent a compilation of me doing super shit when right. I'm drunk, and then <laughs> have they, you still got this video? Because I would love to see it. I so annoying. So it was 60 seconds. The first 30 seconds I had to speak about why I would be a good islander. Yeah. I have that part, but I don't have the com the final oh. video. And I've asked my friends for it because I put it. Oh, maybe no, I don't. I definitely don't. I'll try to try and find it. But um, yeah, one thing led to another. They got back to me and wanted a Zoom call. Then I got on this Zoom call and we were just having a chat with this girl. Like it just was so chill. And then yeah, it just. This was oh, in November. When you, when you did that Zoom call, like when you were doing like the interview with him, we, did you start to feel like, oh God, like this actually might be a thing then? Like, I don't know. I never really believed it, that it yeah. would be mm. like, because it was like, oh, that was a Zoom call. Nothing's going to come of it. Like, this is so mm. stupid, weird. Like, it's not going to happen. Mm. Didn't think I'd ever get a call back. And then it kept getting to the next stage. And I was like to my friends, this is really weird. They keep wanting to call me back mm. and they wanted more chats. And now they're wanting doctor medicals and... Then they wanted me to meet the execs, and I was like, oh "My right. God, is it like a really intimidating thing going through the like the audition process?" It's scary. Yeah. Well, it, it's not scary because I don't know why I just said that. I just lied. <laughs> it's not scary. It's, it's actually really chill. Tommy's <laughs> 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 <I'm, I'm> <laughs> rubbing off on me. <laughs> um, no, it's really chill. It's like you. Well, just... She lied, and she went, I'm, "I just lied." So no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Chloe is here, by the way. We're not yeah. just talking to a ghost. <laughs> um, no, it's like they just want to have a chit chat with you and just mm. find out about you, your life. Like, it's not, it's not intimidating. Oh, when you get to the end and you meet the execs, you're like, right, this is, this is the big moment because they make the final decision. Mm. Um, but they were really nice as well, and the chat was just like really natural and. And they always say, though, like, even you get to this point doesn't mean you're going to go on it. And they rang and said, we want you to go on it and <gasps> we want you to fly out on this date. But it doesn't mean you could still quarantine doesn't mean you're going to go on it. So the whole time I'm thinking this could just end any moment. Like, oh. really? So you yeah. could do the whole quarantine thing People and they just say and not gone on. Wait. Yeah. But they, they know like that they're going in there. Like they know yeah. that. They make that very... Clear so do you. they then <coughs> when everyone's there do they just make the decisions on like okay well we think we should just chuck this yeah. person in now yeah and they just do it like off the bat there and then yeah because they basically said to me oh my they God, did say that. to me oh we want you to be an early bombshell so they knew that they wanted me to put me in within the first few weeks but mm. they said it's basically based on reaction and whatever happens because it's like they're watching it live yeah. and obviously when we see it two Got days you. later oh. but they want they'll put me in when they think that it's right yeah. for me to go in so yeah, they're just yeah. watching it all unfold and be like okay yeah. now it would be an ideal yeah. time to uh, when right. did you actually go in i went in on the seventh day you oh, came in with so lucinda early. came in with lucinda yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah mm. this is a weird question but they did make you do it do they make you do an STD test before you go in? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. Do they? Yeah. Oh yeah, I suppose like people get a bit jiggy. <laughs> oh Chloe <my> failed. Could you imagine? Well, what would happen if you did fail? They'd be like, oh, you can't go in then. No, you just well, get the treatment, no. You can't have, like, you just get an injection in your bowel. Well, no, they, they surely would, that would hold well, you from going Well, if you had chlamydia, in. you could just, just treat it. Yeah. And they, they, I don't think they, <laughs> yeah, they think really liked you. They wouldn't be like, oh, you're coming now, I'm not going in. Yeah. Mm. So they'd probably just give you some. Because mm. when I went to the doctors, he was like, oh, um, what? He was like, anything you want to ask me? And at this point, I had really bad acne. 
And I knew I was going, well, at this point I was like, it's coming to it. And I was like, mm. I had the implant in my arm, which gave me really bad uh. acne. And I was waiting on the NHS for like 12 weeks mm -hmm. and hadn't got it. And I was like, um, I don't think I want to go on TV if I've got really bad skin. I'm waiting to get out. And he was like, we'll help you. He was like, normally I would charge like three, four hundred pounds. But because we're like working with Love Island, we'll do it for you for a hundred pounds and we'll get it out for you this week. Like come back. Oh wow. And wow. they like really helped me. Did you, fi did you find that that helped when you took it out then? Because obviously yeah. the implant's hormonal, isn't it? Yeah. So. Oh my God, like literally cleared up straight away. It's huge then... as well, isn't it? Like you can literally see it in Yeah, your you can feel it. It's like a big like mm -hmm. line here. And I I'm just r such a forgetful person. So I wanted to have something that was more well, it's like safe. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, like, like you're not going to miss it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it, that's when then six months later, that's when my acne came. And then I, but then I was going through all the Love Island stuff and I was like, oh my God, like I just can't go on TV mm. like this because oh. I was so self conscious. Um, and all the video, all the calls of them were over Zoom. So you couldn't really see. Got you. I had makeup on, I didn't mm. see I had acne. I thought, if they see, I do. Were you worried about that? Did I you was. think I was something really worried about it? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I was. And I, now it annoys me because I think, oh, so what? Like, I mean, I don't know whether they would have wanted me if I did have full on acne, but. Um, by that point, I still had a couple of spots. They didn't care, but mm. I was really self-conscious about it on yeah. the show. Like, yeah, oh, what if I be. break out mm. and like I get called spotty mm. and like it was something that was constantly on my mind. But luckily, I had the implant out. It cleared up. I was having micro needling sessions, and I was in the sun. And when you're in the sun, your That's skin dries true. up. Yeah. That's so Doesn't true. Doesn't have any spots. Yeah, when you're in the sun, your skin is unreal. That is so true. I because mm. I I suffer with my skin sometimes. Like yeah, I go through yeah. really weird periods of like flaring up and like all of a sudden. I've just got like loads of spots and it, mm. it does knock your confidence. Like, yeah. I must admit out of everything, like I think that for me is the worst thing. Yeah. I find myself so like insecure when I've got loads of spots. Oh, no. Don't know why. I it's know it's annoying. I, I know. feel like I wish I didn't feel yeah. like that. Like, it's normal, obviously. It's, it's so, so, so normal. normal. But for me, that is the most difficult thing for me to deal with. Mm. And it's like, oh shit. And like, you know, when you try like every product under the sun and nothing seems Works. to work no. and obviously like try different diet things and try a different like, yep. all these fucking things, but it's really tough to deal with. It yeah. actually is. But the sun, the sun, the sun, helps. The well, sun helps. I went and to see a proper, well, she's, I call her my dermatologist, but she says I shouldn't call her that. It's like a skin anesthetician or something like that. I mm. can't really pronounce it. And um, she's like, the sun's really bad for you and I don't it thickens that. your skin. I and don't believe there's it. There's a lot of bad things that come like I've heard years that. to come. Yeah, like wrinkles, skin cancer. No, like I don't it's give not a fuck. Get you. me in the sun now. <laughs> <laughs> get me to Benidorm. Get me in the sun. Not but, no, it does dry your skin out and your spots do clear up. Exactly. So it's like a bit yeah. of a. I've got a bit like combination skin. So like yeah. the areas that get spotty are the areas that are oily mm. and it just clogs up. So I think the sun is good for my skin mm. anyway. But well, if the spots go, it's what's going. True. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what did it actually, I'm pure like, when you were telling me that story, I was like, oh, feel like I'm there. What did it actually feel like when you stepped in the villa? Like, were you like, I'm going to shit myself? Because I feel like that's what I feel like. I was so nervous. I get like, even for things like this, like mm. I'm nervous for, and that's probably why I, I don't really like to put myself in situations like this yeah. or, or bigger, but I don't know what came over me. I was single, I was like, like oh, Millie, you, you need to just do something, like do something with your life anyway. And then it got to it and I just remember feeling so sick and I was like, oh. I probably will actually throw up any minute. But then I didn't know I was going on with Lucinda. So I get to the point and they're like, right, you're going in tomorrow. Um, they come and pick me up. And then I got to the this like cabins bit where you go before you actually walk in. And like Lucinda's sitting there and they were like, oh, is this who you're going in with? And I was like, oh, oh hello. And then she was like, oh, hi. Nice. And we had like, two minutes to talk and introduce myself. So I was like, right, splitting you up, but you're walking in together in 10 minutes, get yourself ready. Might not have been 10 minutes, but a half hour, whatever. And then, um, but she was such a bubbly, confident girl uh, that it really put me to ease. Girl, girl. And I knew that I could walk in with her and it's like an ongoing thing. And like everyone in the villa, I'd say like, she just took control and I just sat back and everyone thought I was really quiet, but it was just cause I was so nervous. I'm yeah. not really a quiet person, but in those situations yeah. I was and Lucinda was just an angel. Like well, I that's think that's why It's a lot of bonded. pressure, isn't it? Mm. Like to just walk in to a load of new people you've never oh. met surrounded by cameras. Like that's, that's a lot. It's a lot. It? 
and obviously not being on TV before either mm. and not really knowing Well, what actually, to we know that you have been on TV. Yeah, now. GMTV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Millie is sponsored by GMTV <laughs> <laughs> from the age of 13. That was your first deal when you came She's out. real yeah. Billy TV. <laughs> yeah. That was actually the first thing that I did. Good morning. Is After it? Love Island. Full circle. Full circle. Full That's circle. mental. Oh. Was Justin Bieber on that episode? No. 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 Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I haven't met him since. Are you glad you did it though? Yeah, really yeah. glad. Yeah. It was the best thing I've ever done. Really? You're still friends with Lucinda as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really, really good friends. Yeah. We're all just like, little best days yeah mm. i think your season was probably the best don't lie no i'm actually no, you're saying it i no. think my favorite my two favorite seasons is the one that wes was on mm -hmm. and your one yeah they're the, they're the two top for me yeah. really yeah and i feel like our season's known for being quite unpopular really really mm. really i think i, I just resonated more with the characters on that on that yeah. season you know what I mean? Do you? Like, me yeah too. like you guys were so relatable yeah. like to watch you know what i mean more 100%. than like nice. on previous seasons have been like well i don't yeah it's good to watch but i'm like oh i don't really yeah you know when it gets a bit like you don't relate to anyone you don't actually like <laughs> root for anyone but i feel like mm. when we were watching like your season and <laughs> maura season i fucking love maura, oh, yeah. like, maura. i just season, when i root for people season. That was I, don't, was I that? didn't think I watched Kem Caesar. That was a good season. That was, that was a really good season. Live yeah. That was a good one. And then... Mm. You know Morris. that season was the most aired show on ITV? Like, that, their first episode was the most, like, viewers have ever had on ITV. What one? Um, the first episode of <clears throat> that season with Maura <gasps> was, like, millions and millions of people, like, watched that first episode. Like, it, like, broke records or something like that. Shut up. I know, how weird is that? That's probably why everyone says that's the best one, because that probably is the one that everyone watched. It was mm. good. I and that, like. mm. secondly, the most aired was GMTV when you were 30. <laughs> 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 At the front, like, please, just in pick me. 